soft jo drop seed grass. So in this first part, you want to identify the drop seed grass. And you'll see a lot of uh, last year's grasses. They're going to be very brittle. They're going to break pretty easily. These are the ones you want to avoid. And so you can see here that it's just breaking apart. There has no, the sun has beaten it and there's no, um, there's no rigidness in it. This is the actual plant you want to find. You want to pull out the top part of the stem. There is a joint right at the base of that. Okay. So you pull it out using your hand. It'll take a few tries. It'll take a few times, uh, firmly grasp it along all your, your fingers and your hands and then pull it up. Now, once you pull it out, hold the very tip of it using one, using your fingers, slide it down the, um, the, the grass like you saw right there. And you're going to get out those little bits and pieces. Um, this is very important. You do not want to do more work than you need to. So every single blade that you take out, make sure you clean it off properly. Okay. That way, as you start to gather it, um, you don't, you won't need to work twice again. Now this process took about 20 minutes to do the handful that I gathered here. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm searching through some of the, the better grass stalks. You really want to make sure that you're getting the, the bigger um, stalks. And generally these ones, they'll pull out a whole lot easier than those that are still growing. Okay. So it did take me a while. I did not go to one single plant. Um, I did walk around a little bit more than this too again. So here's that handful. Uh, right here, like I was saying, you, you want to take out all the, all the grasses before you take it home. If not, um, it's, it's a quite a bit more work to clean it off. Okay. So now we get to this part. Uh, I let it dry out just a little bit. Um, took some, um, some string. Um, doesn't matter what kind of string you twist it. This is going to keep its shape here. Twist it all the way to the very top. You can also take a little bit of water if it dries out too much. Um, spray it down with some water, tie it again. It's going to start to want to bend to one side. Um, just keep, just make sure that it stays straight as it dries. So here's that, here, here's that, here's that bundle that I gathered. Again, it's a small bundle compared to the others that we've gotten. Those two are for hair. Um, Bejo, okay, so they're a lot thicker. Those take about a full hour to two hours to gather. That little one there on the tzedashe, and how I'm using the tzedashe in, in grinding corn, just for an example, you want to keep those two hair brushes separate. That is for food. You do not mix the two brushes together. Okay. So again, pretending to grind the corn, you take your um, tenaljo and then you brush it. 